Hey, good morning. Today I'm going to show you all how to make um, LKCI yogurt. So LKCI is a yogurt that um, will help with um, respiratory issues. It will help with uh, possibly eczema, uh, any kind of uh, bowel issues you may have. It's going to help with that. Um, these are all, of course, reported, right? So um, you take this, kind of do this at your own risk. And just be advised, you're, you're taking advice from somebody on YouTube. So, But I'm just going to show you how to make this. Um, do your own research on this to see if this is something that you want to do. Um, but this does make good yogurt. LKCI is found in a lot of uh, probiotic products. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not one that is... is a, it's just not found, you know, it's found pretty much all over the place. So, um, there are a few ingredients you need to have. You need to have some bowls. You need to have inulin. This is the, uh, the prebiotic fiber. This is going to, this is what this is going to do is give the, the bacteria, LKCI, the food that it needs to reproduce. And so the goal with this is to not just make yogurt, but make a, uh, bacteria super powered yogurt over 36 hours so we're going to use the same formula that um, Dr. Davis has used for his other types because it's a very similar process and similar cooking and uh, similar temperatures so you're also going to need um, what we have in America called half and half which is half heavy cream half whole milk um, so if you don't in your country, if you have something different, maybe just make sure you just have some sort of fatty milk product that can be used, uh, maybe just heavy cream, um, to make the yogurt. So, and you also need, um, you need a yogurt maker, which we're going to use a little bit later. And um, so those are the components you need to kind of make this yogurt. So first thing we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to pour just a little bit of this in here to create a slurry. And I'm going to take, so I'm using food for gut. Um, they give you this in each packet. So I'm going to use the larger and get a big heaping amount. And I'm going to spread this around best I can there. Didn't do a very good job of that, did I? <laughs> do the same over here. Did a little bit better on that one. Now, and the prebiotic fiber. This is a fairly big spoon. So I'm going to add two of these to each one. Uh, I've seen most. We'll do one but what I found is if you're making your first yogurt, uh, you want a you want a lot of bacteria. So getting getting this right the first time is pretty important. So you're gonna sacrifice. You're gonna have a little bit more whey, which is the clear liquid, than you would normally, because the bacteria has a lot more to grow. And now you're going to just mix this up into a slurry. It doesn't have to be completely and totally mixed up. Don't worry that that's going to happen over 36 hours. So you'll see it starts to clump up a little bit. And that's okay. You're just trying to get this mixed together. So it can grow. And it has access to all these nutrients that it needs to propagate because what we're going to do is we're going to cook this for 36 hours and so on the label it says you know that you get billions of uh, bacteria per, per spoonful of this um, of the bacteria but over time since this probably replicates every three hours those billions are going to turn into trillions and what that will do, will give it enough, give you enough yogurt to eat in a half of a cup that it will easily 
colonize your gut over time. And that's, that's the point. Okay, we got these completely done. Let's move that over there. Now, uh, at this point, we're gonna fill up the rest with half and half. Trying to get it as evenly as possible. Okay. All right, that's about good as it's gonna get. Okay, now you top it off. Right here. What I do is I like to push it down and then there's a little bit of air trapped in there and I just kind of lift it up to let that air out because there will be quite a bit due to the growing. So let's put these in here, All right? Let's put these in here, that one. And this one goes in here. Make sure these are in here and in or in flush. And now we're gonna add um, water. And it doesn't really matter what kind of water. Uh, you know, it just depends on your yogurt making system. But mine requires uh, water to evenly disperse the temperature across the yogurt. And so what you wanna do is make sure that you fill this up above a little bit the line of the yogurt so you see there because if you don't um, what you'll end up having is a uh, yogurt will not be it won't cook properly uh, for that portion so put your top on and this one temperature to 99 degrees uh, Fahrenheit you Kind of figure out what that is in uh, Celsius. I'm not sure. Um, start this. This is going to be 36 hours. 36 hours. And then you press go. And so um, you, sometimes, you know, with these, check, come back and make sure if you see steam. Um, on the top after about an hour. That's good it means it's cooking if it doesn't maybe you forgot to hit the bu the bu This button or maybe something went wrong and just reset it redo it You can leave the water and everything in there. Just redo this if you have to So okay, so um, we will come back in 36 hours is now 8 a.m In the morning, so that means 36 hours from now will be not 8 a.m. Tomorrow, but 8 p.m. Uh, that night. So I will see you in 36 hours. All right. All right, the yogurt is now officially done. Let me just um, go put it in the fridge. This is totally normal to have the water on the top. That's um way it works top is a little loose um, looks pretty good so now we gotta put this in the fridge and try it out tomorrow morning so here's our yogurt in the fridge it's got a little bit away not too much. So we're gonna take a half a cup of this. Right, let's see a little bit more. Now remember there's gonna be a fair amount of whey because we put in a lot of inulin. And let's see that's, that's about a half a cup. You know, it's not too, uh, not too much. So, how does it taste? Let's see. 
Really good. Mmm. That's a really good yogurt. So it is not as, um, doesn't have that sharp a taste as the El Ruderay, if you're used to that one. Um, it's kind of like in between. It's, it's a little bit, but it has a, that's very pleasant taste. So you've probably tasted this before. Um, maybe not so much with it strong. So it does have a little, like a mild, mild sharp taste. Mm, kind of. Anyway, but it's good. So, right, so, um, all right, so we made our yogurt. Now, when we're going to make yogurt from now on, it's so easy. So instead of going through all that uh, trouble that we went through to um, mix up the uh, bacteria, the inulin, all that, all you have to do is get, um, I usually just get about this much, and I put that in each container and pour in the uh, the milk and heavy cream the half and half and then just kind of mix it up a little bit and then you cook it same thing same as for 99 degrees for uh, 36 hours and you're going to get what you'll see is you're going to get a really nice cream yogurt you probably won't get um, you won't get uh, the amount of whey that you need. Now, if you don't throw the whey away, <laughs> throw the whey away, that sounds funny. Um, you can actually put that into here because there is bacteria in there. Um, but if not, you can just toss it and then just put this in. Same thing. It comes out really well. And then that's kind of it. This is very, you're on the easy path to yogurt after this point. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy uh, your LKCI journey, and um, y'all take care. Bye.